It's the SAG rap party. SAG We're... rap party here at Black Tree TV. We got our red wine here. Mm. We had a wonderful night covering the red carpet and we are here to celebrate the post party with you guys. So what do you want to talk about that was some of your favorite highlights from this evening's red carpet at the Screen Actor Guild Awards and the show and after party? Let's talk about the fashion. Like okay. All the women want to know about what was being worn on the Ooh, carpet. I saw a lot of great stuff. I don't really know what was going on. I, I maybe you four, can verbalize it. I have the 411 on the fashion. We had Jennifer Lawrence wearing a gorgeous Christian Dior strapless black dress, no, navy blue dress. She was absolutely stunning. Mm. And I believe she's the face of Christian Dior. So we've seen her pretty much every award this year wearing that line. She was stunning. Um, Anne Hathaway, she actually surprised me tonight because uh, for the Golden Globe, she wore a strapless, very chic, uh, white gown with sequins. But this, for the SAG Awards, she wore almost kind of a very Anne Hathaway, high neckline, sheer, uh, long, beautiful dress, uh, gorgeous. Now, now, everybody's talking about that she's pregnant. Is this, is this a confirmed fact, or is it a You know what? Or? I I don't know. I, I don't know, but I don't think she is pregnant. I'll tell you why, because... When a woman's pregnant, even a couple weeks in, they tend to retain water and get a little puffy. And she looks so thin and so beautiful. I just don't think she's pregnant. I think, I think that's a rumor. But Claire Danes did just have a baby. And she looks stunning tonight. She wore a black dress with white trim, high, gorgeous, lovely slits. And she looks great for just having a baby. I don't know. Did you did you see her tonight? Her I did lovely see her. Ensemble? I did see her. She her looks figure, great. Her figure looks great. Amanda Seyfried, she was wearing Zach Posen. Again, navy blue strapless. Strapless, everyone wore strapless tonight. That was kind of the trend. Except for Anne. Except for Anne, yes. Okay. But everyone else wore strapless tonight. And then you had Tina, uh, Tina Fey. Tina Fey wore Oscar de la Renta, and she... Must love Oscar de la Renta because I've seen her in him in wearing him so many times. Again, black strapless, very chic, very sexy. I mean, everyone just looked gorgeous tonight. Let's see who else do we have. You look like a little mermaid tonight with your little purple thing Thank on. What you. was what, what was that? I was wearing I was wearing Mission Couture. Okay. From Chic Little Devil Showroom, and it was very lovely. I love the big flowy bottom on it, the purple. And it's it. I, what I loved about it is the shape of it. It made me have hips, ladies. Yes, <laughs> Mission Contour can give you hips, <laughs> so it gave me a nice shape. So I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, I also, like Jane Lynch from the Glee. She she looked like she had <gasps> she something that was like popping. She looked stunning tonight. Yeah, she did. Like, I think she got some work done, y'all. <laughs> oh no, she looked. I, I have to say, she tends to look a little more. I got some work done. <laughs> I got a, I got a little Botox <laughs> and a little wine. <laughs> yeah, his muscles wine with are my relaxed. Botox. It's like no, it's she looked perfect. She condition. looked stunning tonight. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, like that, to me, she often looks kind of masculine. She looked very feminine, very beautiful, very soft. I noticed her particularly tonight. She looked great. Then you know my favorite. Uh, Carrie Washington. No. I oh, love Kerry yes, Washington, yes. but, Tell us uh, about but your her favorite. fashion was okay. I know you're gonna. Kerry Washington she, looked like she was wearing a wedding gown. I'm sorry. Yeah, and she is. is I'm not gonna mention her not talking to us, even though that we <laughs> the people that really brought it to the forefront that she got snubbed for the sags, and she still didn't talk to us. So we got snubbed by Kerry Washington. Even she got snubbed by the sags. So it's like a you know pay it forward. I'm of thing. I'm very positive with everyone, but Kerry Washington particularly. I just don't get it. I, I think she's a good actress, but I just, I don't know. Like, sometimes I just, I don't get the Kerry Washington buzz. Yeah. I'm not hating, y'all. I just don't get You're it. You're slipping. You don't know I about Scandal? I know, I watch Huff Scandal. I watch Scandal. All this, all I'm, no, I'm very, don't get me wrong. I'm very proud for her accomplishments, that she's, you know, one of the first lead females on a TV show. Like, I'm very proud of that. I think I, 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 I praise her. She was great in Ray. But I don't know, just, ah, there's just something that just misses for me. You're slipping. You're going to catch up. <laughs> but, look, I mean, we're going we to keep talking about the fashion. Or could we talk about some of the wins that we, that we had last night? Or you, you got some more fashion to talk, to uh, talk about. Uh, your favorite Frenchie. Oh. We got to talk about her. Parisian. Yes. My Parisian. Yes. Marion Cotillard. She is, she, 
All right, I got a little crush on her. She's, <laughs> she's kind of beautiful, kind of gorgeous. I was kind of a little nervous. I was right next to her, and I couldn't, like, say, yo, talk to me. <laughs> I kind of got froze, but, you, you know. You know, but, but she but was, she, she was, she was honestly, great. she was the belle of the ball. She stole the show. She looked absolutely stunning. Uh, she had a, a strapless dress. I believe it was blue on the top and white on the, no, it was white on the top and blue on the bottom. Flowy. Her, those crystal blue eyes, she stole the show. To me, she was the best dressed tonight, absolutely. Do you think she noticed me? Um, no. <laughs> Her back was to you. Come on. I was trying, I was like, I, I, I could have yelled. He was, he was totally whispering in her ear. You were, I saw you. And he was, you know, he was trying to tap her for an interview, but he didn't say anything. It was very cute, though, very cute. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it for fashion tonight, you know. I mean, you didn't talk about no guys. Was there any guys that, oh, that stood out in Eddie, fashion? Uh, what is Eddie's last name from Les Mis? Oh, the Eddie English Rob, actor. Rob, 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 Eddie. Wayburn, Eddie Wayburn. <laughs> he he had the cutest suit on. Uh, yeah. Waybane, Eddie Waybane. He had the cutest suit on. I'll tell you, he had the wackest. <laughs> suit on. Let me guess, Tatek. <laughs> Tatek. <laughs> Tay Diggs you had the wackest everything on. And, uh, I don't, you know what? You know. <laughs> Tay snubbed us for an interview, you guys, so Jamal's upset about that. Can, can, we, can we do a reenactment? <laughs> hey, Tay, can we get an interview? <laughs> That's what it was like. I just want y'all to know he did that snub Tay us. Diggs. He, <laughs> he no did comment. snub us. He did. It's Tay Diggs is on the hit list yeah. from Backtree, so <laughs> don't expect no love. All right, but, but let's talk about some of the winners, because, I mean, the SAG Awards is really, I mean, all the award shows kind of point to the big show, the Oscars, and certain shows point to different awards that will be given. But the SAG Awards particularly points to the lead and supporting actors. Right. Because it's all about the actors, and you, you kind of get a sense of who's going to win those categories. Right, right. It's a good indication. And... This, I mean, the SAG Awards kind of was like a sweep of the expected, kind of, right. so to speak. Let's talk about Argo, my man. Argo. Ben Affleck. On the Oscar nominations night, everybody felt that Argo got snubbed because Ben Affleck didn't get a Best Director nod. Uh, ben Affleck didn't get a Best Actor nod. You know, Ben Affleck kind of felt like he was left out the party, but, but the no. picture did but get what? nominated as Best Picture. It, it did, yes, and I think it's absolutely going to win. Lincoln, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's going to win. But, you know, what I liked about Ben Affleck is he said, when he won the Golden Globe, he said, you know what, I'm happy. I've been, I, I've won all these awards, these prestigious awards. Everyone's making a big deal that they didn't, you know, nominate me for the Oscar for Best Director. He's like, I already won a Best Director Golden Globe. Like this, it's monumental in his career regardless. He's good. So he's thankful for just being nominated at all. So I thought that was phenomenal and, and lovely that he said that, you know. I think the only two that is in question at this point for Best Picture is Lincoln and Argo. And I <sighs> honestly, I... I, I think Argo's gonna take it. The, L Lincoln paper. has a lot of holes in it. I mean, Django is a fictitious story, so what, what holes it's allowed are in to be. Well, Lincoln, the biggest hole is that Les Mis, Cloud Atlas, Django all show slavery, all show slaves getting whipped and being like in servitude. And Lincoln, which, which pretty much Abraham Lincoln gets shot for his stance on slavery, shows no slavery. So right. for me, the story kind of has a lot of holes in it. The performances mm -hmm. are great, but the story has a lot of holes in it. And I don't think yeah, it's going to get what? best it's picture because, because of that. I was a little shocked that they didn't show much of that history because I feel like as an audience member, I would have been more attached to the outcome of what happened. And also you have to think of people that don't know the history. So people globally, more or less, uh, or people even here that don't know the history as well as we do, it, it would it would have seen that would have given them more attachment to the outcome and they only focused on the outcome what happened and how it happened so you weren't rooting for these group of people to overcome as you would have if they actually showed slavery and and we got to really see and feel that so you're yeah. right about that are we just talking about oscars are we talking about sag so what else did we see at sag awards we um. seen 
We didn't talk about TV. You got Downtown Abbey. Boardwalk Empire. Scandal Steve got Buscemi. Snubbed. Steve Buscemi won. Love Steve Buscemi. Boardwalk Empire, my favorite show. He won, he won tonight. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm not a Boardwalk. I'm just playing. Sure? No, he did not win. I thought he did. No, Brian Cranston won. For Breaking Bad. <laughs> Breaking Bad, my favorite show. If y'all haven't watched Breaking Bad on AMC, uh, Breaking Bad is one of my favorite shows. It's a story about a teacher who's dealing with cancer. All right, this guy's dying from cancer. Mm -hmm. He has a baby on the way. He's losing his job. There's no money because of all these budget cuts. He decides to start selling meth amphetamines. Mm -hmm. Don't do this at home. But <laughs> the story is so rich. You got so many characters, and we talked to some of them on the red carpet, which we was did. great. So I mean. Breaking Bad, congratulations to, can we, can we toast to, yes, to Brian Cranston? to Breaking Bad. Uh, Breaking Bad, <laughs> great time at the SAG Awards. We got Grammys, Oscars, whatever other award shows coming up. It's award season. It's an award given every other day. NAACP Image Awards. Django's gonna win all of them. <laughs> I don't know about that, but thank you guys so much for watching. Us here at Black Tree TV, the 19th Annual Screen Actor Guild Awards. We had a blast tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.